Guys, if I was to ask you a question, which are some of the most OP units in Zebs, then you would probably say these three, and if I was to ask you like all of them, you would probably say uh, the tanks and all that stuff. There's quite a few of them. But actually there are way more of them than you think, because if we count custom units, then, our, then there are like over millions of them, because if you can create any unit, then you can... Like, you can create some very overpowered units. You can create units which have basically infinite health, infinite damage. You might think that these units are the most powerful, but actually it's the custom units. So what do you do against, you know, custom units? There's zero chance you can beat them, right? But you see, I have created the anti-OP faction, which is, like... A faction which specifically was made to destroy custom units which are created by people in the thoughts of making them extremely OP. So like, let me show you them. We have these three absolute... Uh, well, they're not even gods, they're like... Above gods. I'm trying to express the word which is, you know, not even existent because they are just so extremely overpowerful. I have created that specifically to destroy them. The second unit over here is sort of a more overpowered version of a Dark Peasant. Which, now that I think about it, doesn't really look just quite as the Dark Peasant. I didn't, couldn't really find the proper socks here. But that's alright. And this is the most powerful of all of them, by far. I mean, at least I think so. He has two Reaper Axes. This uh, Angel Shield and all that stuff. But let me just, enough of this, I'm just going to show you them real quick here. Uh, after I get my uh, game actually functioning correctly here. Alright guys, so the first unit that I'm going to show you guys is this unit. Now let's see how he does against like 120 kins. Yeah, this is exactly 120 kins. And I'm not sure how he is going to deal with it right now. Because he's definitely going to do it very quickly. As you can see, he has a barrage ability. Very modern stuff. He is also kind of retreating a little bit. And we okay, this is a little bit more confusing than I thought it would be to explain. So first, his first ability is to use the Dark Peasant. Okay, they are dying way too quickly here. I just need to explain this thing individually because he's just so good at murder and stuff. Anyway, this guy, what well, he has the Banshee Scream ability, he has the Reaper Claws, he has the Rocket kind of a rocket artillery ability which you just saw he has the dark peasant well not the dark peasant the impaling ability a very strong impaling ability well right for the head right for the skull yeah that skin is definitely dead and that's about all he has i think he can also float as you can see and uh oh yeah he can also clone himself and there we are, blue victory. Also, he has an insane amount of health. You actually, like, can't properly kill him. Okay, now I'll just show you the second one. I just, we'll just go to have to get through this real quickly here. Where are we? There we are. Now, the second one. Uh, he, again, is like the more improved version of a dark peasant. Even though uh, he can, like, kill almost anything, he does look like he can kill about basically nothing. As you can see, he is just like the Dark Peasant, everything about him is, well, Dark Peasant-y. Alright, then we have the most powerful of all of them. This guy who has an Angel Shield, like a magical shield blocking him. He also has these swords. He has two Reaper Axes, which I thought would be cool. And then we have his, again, Roman kind of outfit. Now, of course, he can throw swords, he can freeze time. He can also impale units, and this is actually not his full strength, he can also do some other stuff. Like again, like he can also clone himself, actually defeating the OP units which some people have created. And so uh, guys, I have downloaded a bunch of these units, which are like extremely overpowered. Some of them are pretty weak though, but a lot of them are overpowered, especially this guy. But we'll get to that later. But let me just show you this. I have some insanely, like, very strong overpowered custom units. But guys, I'm not actually sure will they be able to stop an actual very, very OP custom unit. Which is, like, insanely powerful. So then I found this guy. Mr. Death. 
and like he whoever made this really did a very great job the axe is like grow glowing red I, I'm just sorry sometimes I can't really like tell some things probably because I'm very excited about it but anyway he is all black he has a very nice suit he has no eyes which is which is how you know that the unit is very intimidating he's floating and he has reaper tentacles just like uh, all of the people who kind of like try to murder people he has this cool thing yeah overall very good looking and extremely deadly so let me just show you this guys let me show you how he deals with 120 kings he has some pretty cool abilities as you can see and he can really pose a big threat so let's see how he does against these kings he should probably uh, do very good yeah he should definitely win this one just like all the our units did he'll probably get absolutely just he will get a couple of hits 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 however uh, i'm not sure if he's going to die and just look look at, at the amount of bodies which are just flying over here he might actually glitch out or just fall off but i'm actually i'm actually kind of concerned that he will jump off just because sad units. but he's doing pretty well so far and he's probably just going to win that one yeah so now let me just show you how the anti-op unit faction would deal with a dark peasant actually no let's just give him a good old super peasant there we are super peasant now let's see how he deals with it uh okay he, they literally just glitched through map oh there we are so as you can see this is the weakest unit and he is able to deal with him now let's see will the unit which is where is he there he is mr death now will he be able to actually defeat this guy this is the real question no he won't he will get absolutely destroyed all right well the test kind of failed already but let's see will all of these guys will all of their combined strength will we be able to absolutely like destroy all of the units all of the anti-op units i'm thinking we nah they will never do it now nah, they will never waste an absolutely no chance against these guys all right actually i'm just going to do one because this is how confident i am that he is going to win actually no let's do this guy first because i'm pretty sure that it would be more fun now nope. I'm kind of switching between them, but I think I've chosen my champion. Alright. Alright, guy. Come on. Destroy them. Show him who is the true champion over here. He is doing his work. He also has the Deflector God ability. So he's probably not going to die anytime soon. They're really just like taking this fight to the skies now. And it seems like almost all of the units are dead except this guy. This Mr. Dead guy, which... Wait, what? Oh no, he actually won against one, but you know what, here's the thing, he did, won again, uh, he did win against one of them, but he can't win against all of them, because there are three units, three units, yeah that's right, this is the full elite squad, now let's see how they do, because I'm pretty sure that now they are going to absolutely destroy them, because they are the anti-OP unit. You know, sometimes we just need a little bit of friendship, and there we are. They absolutely dominated that one. The Dark Peasant and the Tree Guy. And, uh, where is he? I'm trying to find, like, uh, oh, would you look at that? This guy just got absolutely just dropped. He got smashed into the ground so hard. He actually, like, went straight through this kind of, let me just get out of here. So he just like went through the one level over there. That's insane. Anyway guys, I think this is going to be the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.